Ladies and gentlemen, this is Larry from the Shiz and Larry here back again. And we are back once again to get another retro Let's Play. And today we are going to be doing Twisted Metal 2, one of the most underrated yet classics, yet cult classics on the PlayStation 1. And I'm actually playing this on my PS2 console, actually, since it's pretty much the only console that's actually hooked up to my capture card. But whatever, that's not really, that's, that's not even really relevant anyways. But basically... I, I just want to say that this game actually gives me so much childhood memories because I remember I used to play this game all the time as a kid and I remember when I actually went to my uh I went to a v I went to a, a video game store in New Jersey and I paid like twelve dollars for another copy of this game and it was not a bad price at all. Now anyway, besides that's besides the point. We're gonna be getting the tournament mode. We're gonna be playing this game on medium. Why? I've played this game in a while. And we are going to be using Axel. Now, as you can see, while his armor name may not necessarily be the best, he actually does have great ramming. His special is also decent as well. His, pardon me, his handling is intermediate, and he's not too fast, but he isn't too slow. So we're gonna be using him for this uh, let's play here. <clears throat> and we're gonna, and I'm gonna see if I can do this all in one run. Like this is gonna be like a full on. Instead of splitting it into parts, I'm going to see if I can do it all in one video, which is how I plan on doing a lot of my retro Let's Plays anyways. Now, hopefully, I do remember the energy. Now, hopefully, I do remember how to fire, like, energy blasts and whatnot. You know, my energy stuff. So, here we are. The first level is Los Angeles. And we're starting off with six enemies right now. Right now, Hammerhead is, like, on me right now. So, I got to get away from him. Now, some of these enemies do have a horrible, horrible habit of, um, you know, basically abusing, you know, basically abusing the freeze a lot. They will abuse that a lot, so I thought I want to throw that out there too as a warning. Alright, I gotta watch out for that skull. I think the skull. Now, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what the. Uh, okay, so that's jump. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it is up up right. For the, uh, the shield. Yeah, if I had to hurry up and get, get out of there before anyone used their environment attacks. Here, I'm gonna have to get the health over here before, you know, something bad happens. Because we already established that, you know, since, you know, Axel is wide open, as you can see from his vehicle, he doesn't have the best armor. Right now, Grim is after me, so, since he's, like, literally on me, I'm gonna take him out. So, so right now he's trying to get away. So I'm not. Whoa! Look, you saw that? I almost got hit by that skull. See what I mean? What? See what I mean? All right. Hopefully that uh, did the work on him. See how strong his ram is? Literally, the moment it hits someone, they're just like flat out dead, pretty much. This is what I mean by you know how strong they're. Um, this is what I meant by how strong their, uh, you know, his ramming is. And right now, you can clearly see Sweetooth is over there firing his ice cream cones at me. Now, he's got to go. He's got to go. Play this simple. So, I'm just going to keep ramming him. Yeah, it definitely use your machine guns. It adds damage to your attacks. Because it does definitely add a lot of damage to your attacks. And you can actually kill your enemies quicker than usual. And you can clearly see that Axel is one of the few uh, vehicles who can actually go toe to toe with someone as big as Hammerhead in a ramming contest, if you know what I mean. <coughs> so I'm gonna blow this open. There should be some. Yep, here we go. Hold on, hold on, this is... All right, whatever that was, I gotta move. I'm pretty sure whatever that was. I'm pretty sure someone was trying to freeze me. Ah, oh, man, I missed. Now, I'm going to see if I can get another remote bomb, because the thing about the second level, which we will get to, don't get me wrong, we're going to get to that, we're going to get to that in a little while, but first, we just need to take care of everyone here. Oh, by the way, there's an Easter egg in this level where, um, where you can actually blow up the, don't you see the Hollywood sign over there? You can actually blow that up by firing missiles at it. You can actually blow that up. But I'm gonna I'm gonna save my ammo and take care of these guys right now. 
But I thought I'd throw that out to you guys since, you know, I know a lot of you guys are a fan of Easter eggs and everything. I mean, who doesn't like old school Easter eggs? Because, I mean, after all, they were, they, they were classic Easter eggs that we all, like, that we all recognized. And, you know, we all look back in retrospect thinking how, um, how memorable most of these Easter eggs are. And in my mind, this is one of the most memorable, in my opinion. Now, right now, Grasshopper, I don't know what she's doing. Yeah. But, you know, thinking back to the old days when we had memorable Easter eggs like that, and they were all classics. I mean, that's... And, and that was... And that was the beauty of it. Alright, there's Outlaw. Alright, I had to use my shield there. Alright, so I gotta get more help before she attacks me again. I'm probably, I'm not sure if the health respawned over there, and it looks like it didn't, it says it didn't. Uh oh! Yeah, she will abuse that a lot, and thankfully I got myself out of that mess. Alright, let's see. If she's not, if she's not going, if she's not going to give me some slack, we're going to, I want to have to handle her the hard way. Okay, let me get, uh, let me get out of that area. Alright, so she's going over there. Let me go right past her. Alright, now we can get the full health. That was a close call, too, because if she kept doing whatever she was doing, I probably would have been done for. Alright, turn around. She, right now, she's just running around. There's one, another thing that you'll notice is that Outlaw, for some reason, for coincidentally, actually turns out to be one of the you know one of the last one of the last remaining enemies in the game. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it just so happens to happen by coincidence or something. Now, anyways, here we go. We're gonna go to Moscow now. This one's gonna be very interesting. <coughs> now, remember when I was picking up all those remote bombs and everything? That's actually where this part of the game comes in. We're basically. <coughs> I apologize. This is basically the part of the game where, you know, where you will want to use your remote bombs because, like I said, the one trick that we're going to do, Kamikaze. The, the enemies usually appear in a group. Look, you see that group over there? I'm going to see if I can uh, equip my remote bombs really quickly. All right, we got to watch out for Spectre because he's got the ghost missiles. And you already know how he is with those. All right, so here we go. And what that does is that you can actually remove their health very quickly. But you have but in order for you to succeed with the Kamikaze, you have to turn your shield on. That's what I recommend. And right now he's just launching a bunch of crap at me. That's why Sweet Tooth is basically the most dangerous enemy in the game. You have to because he will abuse those ice cream cones. Look, look, see what I mean? See what I mean? He keeps hitting me with these ice cream cones. See, so, so, so you see what I mean? So, whoever, so I highly suggest taking the clown out first. He's definitely got to go. So we're going to take him out. Hang on, here we go. Got him. Like I said, always use your machine guns to your advantage. It will, it will, here we go. Right. So there you go. See, see what happened. And now Outlaw is almost finished. So uh, wherever Outlaw is, we're gonna. I'm gonna make sure she's finished off because I can't let her run around the level like that, especially when she, if she's gonna abuse her special. So here, I got a homing missile right over here, and all right, I, I see Outlaw right over there. I want to see if I can finish her off. Might as well give a, give a few shots on him. Alright, hang on. Let me see if I can do that. Ah, I missed her. And there's some health over here, so I'm gonna get that because I know I'm gonna need it. Alright. Looks like Roadkill's giving me a hard way to go. 
All right, he's out. Now we got to take out Outlaw. And once again, she, she's actually the last remaining enemy. I, I don't know what... Oh, man, I thought she was in my field of range. All right, there we go. Now she's done. I, and like I said, she's always the last remaining enemy. I don't know why, but it just so happens to happen by coincidence or something. Now, anyway, here we go. We're going to go to Paris. Now, this is the level that you want to make sure that you're stocked up on here. You want to be very careful on this level uh, because this one's going to be... This one's going to be very... This one's going to be very ugly. But we're going to... But we're going to get to that. So, we get... So, okay. Sorry about that. I was doing, you know, a little business. Now, anyway, here we go. We're going to... Oh, wait. Uh-oh. You know, Hammerhead can still ramp you even without a special. It's just that with his special, it does more damage. Ah, oh, man. Alright, I was lucky she didn't do it a second time on me. Because usually she will do that until you die. It's happened to me several times. It's one of the most annoying things in the game. Spectre right right here. Looks like he wants to go at it. I'm not going to allow Spectre to run around the level because, th see what I mean? He will use those ghost missiles. That's why he needs to die. Because, like, if I'm not going to allow him, I'm not going to allow him to run around the level and just fire ghost missiles like that because it's going to get very annoying. And right now, Hammerhead's right behind me. Apparently, he's not finished with me. He's like Braun Strowman. He's like, I'm not finished with you. <laughs> yeah, he's not finished with me, but he's done now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta be careful. That flamethrower is dangerous. Ah, oh, man. The shit. Whew. Thank God I went around him because if I did not avoid him, I would have been dead. Alright. Uh, I'm going to set a remote bomb right here. Oh! I was trying to get my shield on, but it didn't work. Oh, man. I got to... Well, that's just great. Now I got to find some help. Oh. And Grim was the one who was chasing after me. Yeah, I was trying to get my shield on, but it didn't work. Now, remember what I said about Spectre? He's got to go. I can't allow him to run around the level. Uh oh! Oh, jeez, what the hell is going on? Jeez, everything that could possibly go wrong was going wrong. <laughs> oh boy, there's Rip. I'll get some more ammo in a second. I just, I'm just more concerned about, you know, refilling my health right now. So I'll take care of the enemies later. That is a that, that is unless of course Grim wants to pick his nose where it doesn't belong. Then sure, I don't mind taking him out. <laughs> All right, so now I gotta get that health that's on top of that fountain. All right, so I already blew up the Eiffel Tower. That was very stupid to run into it. And plus, I could have detonated it too, or, or I could have waited for an enemy to run into it because that's what they usually do. If you would have set the bomb right there, but you know, I was just being stupid at that time. Right now, Thumper's health is low. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I'm going out of control right now. Oh, boy! I had no idea he would... I had no idea. I was wondering why Minion Special wouldn't work. Alright, so now I gotta get that health right there. All right, he's dead. He's dead. Thank you. Uh oh, looks like Twister's coming. I gotta get away from her. But at least, but at least, uh, Warthog is out. Usually, he's he's the one with the toughest armor in the game. And I'm actually fortunate enough to take him out, and I can hear Twister using her special. So the best the best thing to do is that if she's around, just get away from her. Cause. As I as I have to reiterate, she will abuse her uh, special until you die. Uh oh. Oh! 
Ooh, that was pretty nice. Wow, I actually got a ricochet kill and a freeze kill on uh on Thumper. I was actually quite surprised by that. Alright, I don't wanna take I don't wanna take her on hand to hand like that. First off, the most important thing is that I gotta stock up on more ammo first. So that's what I wanna do first before I actually think about going head to head against uh Twister. And she's actually the last remaining enemy. And thank God it is an outlaw this time. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna grab this homing missile right over here. Now I'm gonna head over here. Oh yeah, I, I, I usually forget that. Uh oh, I can hear her coming. Not to mention I can see her on the map too. Like I see you. All right, where is she? All right, she's she's right behind me. Alright, there we go. Frozen? Yeah, now she's out. So everyone is toasted, literally. So now we are about to move on to the next level. What is the next level, you might ask? Amazonia. This is actually the level where, um, where you have a lot of lava everywhere, so you don't want to stay in there for long. And this is also the area, the level where you can fight Minion as well. So this is the one level that you will want to be very careful on. And well, would you look at that, the clown. The clown is actually back on Amazonia. Like, wh what is up with that? <laughs> the clown is just not going to give up. So you know what that means? We're going to have to take him out first. I'm not going to allow him to run around this level shooting, you know, ice cream cones and all that stuff because he abuses that and I'm not even making this up. I'm pretty sure a lot of people who has played this game before probably agrees with me. Some probably don't, and if you don't, that's okay, but this is just off of my personal experience. You know? So hang on, I gotta get my special out. Right now, Sweet Tooth, look, see? This is my first encounter with him. This is my first encounter with him, and already he's going absolutely mental. So you see what I mean by him, like, just going crazy nuts? Alright, now the clown's out. And I didn't, and I barely even broke a sweat. Because let's be real, as long as you know, as long as you know how to deal with him, you shouldn't have, you know, so much issues taking him out. You really shouldn't have a problem at all. Uh oh, hammerhead! Woo! Thank God I dodged him. All right, so I'm gonna head over here. So I'm gonna—I'm actually gonna make the risk and go through the lava right over there. I mean, you don't lose a whole lot of health when you cross the lava, but I still wouldn't recommend it, especially for beginner players. Just use the—just uh, use the teleporters because that's like the easiest way to get across from point A to point B. Alright, I forget which one is that. Okay, I think this one is because I can see a little line right there. Yep, I knew it. I can see a little line right there, so that's how come I can figure it out right over there. And right now, it looks like uh, Hammerhead, Twister, and Roadkill are handling business over there. So I'm not really going to get involved unless, you know, they attack me. So, so I'm not going to necessarily bother them all that much, per se. Uh, whoa! All right, so I gotta get my special out. Let me see what I can do. I want to see if I can take out Hammerhead right now because right now he's the one who's actually. Oh, I missed. Oh wait, never mind. I actually got. I still froze it, but I missed most of my misses. There we go. Now he's out. Uh oh. Here comes Thumper. I gotta go around him. Ooh. Barely hit me. Gotta be careful because Thumper has one of the strongest specials in the game, so you wanna be very careful. Alrighty, so I'm gonna blow up everything in here, grab everything I need. There's also health in here, which I'm not going to. Uh oh. I had to turn my shield on just in case, because like, I wasn't sure if Twister was in the room with. I wasn't sure if she was in there with me, and just in case she was, I wanted to make sure, you know. So here, I'm gonna use this. Alright, gotta get away from Twister. Oh, 
Oh man, it actually. Wow, I froze Stumper up instead. Can I get out of there? I don't want to. Uh, someone must have already grabbed the health over there. That's fine. It, all it does is just creates a challenge for me. Oh, and I still made a kill. Uh oh, I gotta get away from him. Woo! Thank God I got away from Thumper when I had the chance. Alright, so he's gotta go. Alright, taken care of. I just gotta stock up more of our missiles now. Alon and uh, Twister are over here. Once again, I don't want to get involved. If they actually get me involved, then so be it. I don't mind actually taking them out. But right now, my main concern right now is just making sure I avoid them and stock up a little bit more on ammo. Because that's the most important step when it comes to playing this game is that you got to make sure, like, any kind of missiles that you can find or whatever, is uh, just, just pick up whatever you can find, pretty much. Because, trust me, at the end of the day, these weapons are your best friend. So here we go. We got some power missiles. I never really use power missiles all that much, but I'm mainly saving it for, uh... Here we go. Hold on a second. I got a lot of napalms right here. I'm going to see if I can get rid of a few. Now, I'm also going to use these remote bombs, too. Like I said, I'm going to save them for when we, uh... For when we go against, uh... Whoa! Oh man, I was lucky she didn't do it a second time. And look, idiot, died in fire. Now I'm just gonna be waiting on Outlaw, cause she will be showing up. And what is she doing? It looks like she's. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit closer because I got I got an idea. Here she comes. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Not too close. I don't know what I don't know what Outlaw's doing. It looks like she's just running all over the place. Alright, I got some damage on her. Ah! Got hit by my own freaking shit. Ah uh, oh man! I don't have that much energy anymore. Let me see if I got some missiles for her. Oh, I wonder what she's doing. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm just gonna wait. I don't know what she's doing right now. It seems like she's not moving. I hear her shooting, but I'm not sure what she's doing. And right now she's stuck in the lava right now. Oh yeah, I knew she was gonna do something like that. I knew she was gonna use her. Spe I knew she was gonna use her special. Oh man, did it hit? No, I don't think. I don't think it did. Once again, I barely even broke a sword. Here. So I got these power missiles and ro remote bombs. Like I got, like I got a crap load of of uh, I got a crap load of remote bombs that I can use against um, that I can use against minion. Now the trick to beating him is that uh, you can actually go make him go on an incline like a ramp, a slope, if that makes sense. Um, and then what you can do is that you can use the remote bombs on him because the thing about it is that it actually does more damage, believe it or not. So what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to come up here um, and I'm going to grab these homing missiles. You, you want to make sure that you also get at least some damage on them before you actually start firing. Alright, so right now I got the remote bombs and homing missiles like tied together, which is actually great. Because now that means I can use it all at the same time. I'm not sure where Minion is. He's he's up there somewhere. Where is he? Oh wait, he's coming. He's coming. He's over here. Oh, I see him. Let's see if we can get some damage on him. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes. Woo! Alright, so now... Okay. Hang on, I got some power missiles here for him. 
Got him. That's why I was saving those power missiles, because I wanted to make sure they were saved just for him. So, now that we've got that taken care of, now we're about to head to New York. Oh, boy. This is the level that you want to be the most cautious on, because you have a serious habit of falling off. And if you fall off, instant death. It's not like you lose, like, bonus health. Or it's not like you lose, you know, out-of-bounds health or whatever. Oh, no, you literally, like, lose. Oh, no. Sweet Tooth and Mr. Slam, the two worst enemies on here. I do not like them at all. And we haven't even started already. Uh, Mr. Spectre over here is giving us some issues. So I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna waste my time with him. I'm just like, you know what? If he's right there and he wants to die, I'll just handle him. Alright, now on the ledge, you will want to be very careful because an enemy could shoot a ricochet at you and you will fall off, so be very careful. I highly suggest, you know, going to the corner of a building when an enemy is not around. But there isn't right now, so. Right, so, like I said, I want to be very careful. Because when an enemy is around and they shoot a ricochet at you, they will kill you instantly. Just from falling off of a building. I want to make sure I miss that health because, you know, I want it to play it. Alright. Uh, I don't know where Grim is right now. Uh oh, wait a minute. I see, I see him somewhere. There he is. Okay, cool. I still hit him. Hang on. I'm going to follow him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here it is, Mr. Slam. The master of the spamming freeze. So I wanna you do not want to show any mercy. Look, see, if I was at if I was at the edge of the building, I would have been dead. So you see what I mean? And he flat out missed. He flat out missed that uh He flat out missed that freeze can. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, Shadow has a habit of shooting his special from behind. And thank God he missed. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. Ah! There we go. Right now, Grasshopper is very trigger happy right now. I don't know what ails her. <laughs> I had to make sure I get the health in here before, you know, something bad happens. So, so far we got four enemies left, which is great. Um, because we already took out, because we already took out Slam, and uh, we already took out Spectre at the very beginning of the level, so that's great. It's the clown that I'm worried about, because as I have to reiterate, he is one of the nastiest enemies of the game, if not the nastiest. Okay, so he's one now I'm actually more concerned about. Okay, so we're gonna. So right now, I'm just trying to get as much ammo as I can before, you know, I finally get to him. Trying to get this remote bomb in here. So now I got two of them. Got four fire missiles, so this shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully not. I still have yet to kill Grim. I was close to killing him, but I didn't quite get him. Alright, so I'm going to use this teleporter. Alrighty. Once again, I gotta be very careful because, like I said, they, have, they 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 could shoot a ricochet at me. And they literally want to. Oh man! Alright, so I'm gonna make sure to get a shadow. Oh man! Yeah, like I said, Shadow has a habit of using his of using his special from behind. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why he does that, but whatever. It's what he does, so just be careful. Got him. Whoa! Alright, so hang on. Uh-oh, the clown. The clown's here. Oh, man. Oh, man, I could have knocked him off of the building, but whatever. It is what it is. So, oh boy. It looks like I'm starting to run low on ammo now. 
had to use my shield before he could hit me any further. Now I know there's full health of the elevator because yeah, if you noticed, uh, if you never looked at the elevator before, I'm gonna show you something. Go in here, and if you fall out here, you'll find full health. And some weapons to boot too. So now that I got full health, I should be fine. Now those enemies, they're they're right, they're right outside. Right outside. So uh, here we go. Oh, there's the clown. Ooh! Man, that was a hard ramming right there too. But at least the clown is dead. Uh oh. Jeez, I saw that mine right there. I didn't mean to run into it. Now I'm gonna use the teleporter right up here. All right, where's Grid? He's somewhere. Whoa! That was so close. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Grim. Did I also forget to mention that he also spams freezes as well? Well, as you guys, well, as you can see, he tried to kill me. And you can clearly see that Hopper right now is so trigger happy right now. So I had to get some health right here. Looks like we're fine for now. Um, I'm trying to see which enemy I could take care of next right now because right now I'm just trying to see. I'm not sure. Like, you could clearly hear that. Uh, hang on one sec. I'm sorry. Give me one sec. There we go. I had to do. I had to just turn it on an additional light since you know it's getting dark in my area. I apologize about that slight inconvenience. But anyway, um, let's see what we can do. Go. Woo! Ah. Woo! Wow, right from behind, too. Never would have thought that would actually happen. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, Antarctica, the drop zone. Now, this one, be very careful on because. Um, there are icebergs that do collapse on this level, and on top of all that, the enemies get very aggressive here. Thankfully, we don't have the clouds, so let's see the password in case we lose. In case we lose, we got XX, triangle, square, triangle, circle. Okay, that's going to be a little bit difficult for me to remember because my mind can be very scarce. <laughs> but, um, but regardless, we are going to try our best. Well, at least I'm gonna do my best. So here we go. We're gonna keep going up here. So luckily, this iceberg right here that I'm on doesn't collapse because you know there's weapons right here, and there's no special way to actually blow this thing up. So you can't really necessarily blow them up with remote bombs. They seem to blow up by, by themselves. All right, right now shadows right right there. All right, right now it looks like shadows got a problem with us. So. This is the uh, this is the level where you want to use your shield on a lot. I highly suggest only using your energy attack, only using your energy for uh, you know, for shields or whatever, because this is the level where you will want to you know use your shield a lot. All right, so right. Oh man. Hang on a second. Do I have any ricochets on me? Ah, oh, someone froze me. Uh, I think that must have been roadkill. Because Rogue Kills don't uh, actually spam his freeze too. Wait a minute. Ah, oh. I should try to freeze him to the point where I could just knock him off. I couldn't beat him to it, but whatever. All right, luckily he didn't get the health up here, so I'm just gonna get that. And right now you can hear a lot of icebergs collapsing right now, so that's not good. It's a very bad thing. Oh, great. Now we got, uh... Ah! And I saw that, too. That was clear. That was, that was clearly, uh... I already know who's freezing me. I already know who's freezing me. It's, it's freaking broken. Because as I have to... Because as I have to mention, Roadkill is... 
he's known for doing stuff like that. Now, I got to be careful. This iceberg can't co The iceberg that I'm on right now can collapse, so I need to be very careful. Right now, I'm going to see if I can get this health. Right. Got it. That's the full... And that's the full health of the game, and luckily I grabbed it before, before um, you know, Warhawk could kill me. Warhawk's right over there. It looks like he's going on to the other side, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue him. Oh, great! Actually, wait, do I have my ricochets on me? Ah, I wish. Oh yes, I did. I could have knocked him off. I could have actually knocked him off. The wait a second. All right, I got him right where I want him. Let's see if I can knock him off. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, who's that that's freezing me right now? Uh oh, iceberg's collapsing. I gotta get off! Oh, that was close. I almost got done. I, al I literally almost fell to my death. There's another health that's over here, and like, like the last iceberg, this one can collapse too as well, so. Had to make sure, so thank God I got it before it disappeared. I want to need a little bit more ammo this time around. I'm not sure if the health up here actually respawned. Oh, it did. Okay, it did. Wow. All right, so right now we only have two enemies left. I'm guessing it's because most of them like fell off or something. That's like the most logical answer for what's going on right now. Uh, let me see. Uh. Uh-oh, that iceberg is about to collapse. And you can actually feel it collapsing when you, uh... You can actually feel it collapsing and see it by it rocking up and down and everything. So, you'll know when an iceberg is collapsing when you're on it. Now, I gotta be careful because he... If he wanted to knock me off from that angle, he could've. Hang on, let me see if I got any missiles from him. I got him. All right, I gotta be careful. Cause uh, Grasshopper's our last enemy. She's our last. Um, hang on a second, I'm gonna see if I can do something. All right, I need to be careful because I could fall off. All right, we made it to the other side. Um, here we go, let me see what I can do here. Uh-oh, that iceberg's collapsing right now too. Whew, got it. Usually I miss that. Usually I miss that one health, that health uh, icon. Usually when I go over there, but this time I actually got it. I'm actually surprised that I actually got it this time. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna grab these homing missiles right over here, and we're gonna take care of Grasshopper because right now I don't know what is going on. She seems to be abusing her. I don't know what's ailing her right now. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting on her. Wait a minute, here she comes. If I can, I can unleash my minion special on her. Oh, what the? Alright, for some reason it didn't work that time, so... I'm just like, you know what, screw it. I'll just kill her the old-fashioned way. So there you go, that's Antarctica. And oh boy, we are about to get into the level that's... Oh my gosh. This is the one where you definitely want to use your shield as the only energy uh you know attack that you'll want to use i don't necessarily it's not an actual attack of course but you guys already know what i mean so this is the level where you will want to make sure that um okay circle x circle triangle circle circle and you can see that the worst of the worst is on this uh is on this level so Wish me luck. This is the level I usually die on the most. A lot of people who play this level die on this level the most. And you can clearly see why. So, this is the level where you don't want to show any of the enemies any mercy. Like, whenever you have an enemy, just, just dip on them. Just like that. Don't even show them any mercy. I'm going to grab that health right over there before someone else gets it. So here we go. Hammerhead's almost done. All right, he's done for. Um, uh, I'm not sure who else. Uh oh, the clown. You already know the clown's gotta die. So I'm gonna see if I can. Oh no, I didn't mean to blow that up. I believe one of them has like the uh, full health. I can't remember which one it was. 
But I believe the tower that I just blew up had the full health. Rate. And I blew it up. That was my fault, so. Alright, so I'm gonna grab as much ammo as I can. I'm actually surprised that I'm actually surviving right now, but I'm not gonna hold my breath too long. For too long, because like I said, everything could possibly go wrong. But like I said, just use your shield always. Ah, oh, man, I tried to turn my shield on, but... Well, I can still turn my shield on right now because I still got I still got plenty of energy. Wait a minute, Twister's right beside me. Someone launched a ricochet. I'm just gonna say... I'm just gonna risk it all and just hit her with it. Alright, Twister's done. So now what I gotta do is that there is some health on here, so... I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Before, once again, someone else gets it. And, uh, oh no, the other tower must have blew up. Oh, great. Like I said, the clown's gotta die. He's gotta die. Alright, uh, woo! Good lord. Uh oh, woo! I had to swerve right around it. Oh, dude. Oh man, I didn't even mean to place a remote bomb right there. If I did hit anyone, that's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> uh, there should be more health around here. I'm not sure. I think this haystack actually has it. Oh, yeah, it does. Ah! Damn shadow hitting me with those. Don't you hear how many times he's launching it? That's what I mean by, you know, enemies being super aggressive on this level. Uh, I wish it had health in it. I wish it did, but fortunately it doesn't. And that's the worst the worst part about this level? There's no place to hide. There's no place to hide in this level, so. Ah! I knew I was gonna get hit by that. Well luckily we have less to worry about. Um, Grim is almost done, so I'll, uh, put him out of this pistol. Oh, what the... Where the hell is Grim going? That's just... Oh, there we go. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. But great, he took out more of my health, so now this makes it more challenging for me. The closest you can get to as, high, as far as hiding is, like, right here. But again, that's just easier said than done. Um, is there more health over there? Nope. It's just, uh, up around. What the hell is she? And remember what I said about using your, uh, shield a lot on this level? This is what I was talking to you about. Because they will dip on you a lot. And I gotta be careful because I, I already, do I, do I have to reiterate about, you know, Shadow using his, uh, you know, Shadow using his, um, oh, we died. So you see what I mean? Like like I said, we have a less chance at surviving. You know, we have a less chance at surviving there anyways. Now, you're going you're going to die and inevitably you're going to die on there a lot. So that, and if you die on this level, that's completely fine because you can't play that level without dying. So what we're going to do is is that if I can remember what the code is, I believe that's it. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that I actually remembered it. Usually I don't usually I don't remember what a code is, but at least we got to use it. But like I said, if you die on this one stage, do not worry about it because you're the game expects you to die on this level because this level really is that hard, so it's like you can't play this level without him dying at least once. See? Spectre, he's gotta go. Oh boy. And I'm making a huge risk right now. Uh oh. That's a good riddance. I almost got grabbed by him. Oh, I don't want to waste my power missiles yet. Alright, so find every weapon that you can possibly find on this stage and use it. It doesn't really matter. At, at that point, it really don't matter exactly what you can find. And, and you know what? What makes this level even harder is that after you find health in this game, it's very, it becomes very scarce. Uh oh. Oh man, I actually tried to turn my shield on, but it didn't work. Woo! Thank God I used it while Slam was attacking me because. Whoa! Alright, so here we go. 
I can't remember which one has the full health. Yeah, I think that I think that uh, that other tower actually has the full health. In it. But at least I found a, uh, at least I found a tower where it gave me you know a lot of weapons. Ah so. oh, man, I usually I usually forget how to do a rear shot. So if I usually do forget, I apologize. I haven't played this game in a while, so please bear with me. Oh, I gotta be careful because we we already. Uh, I don't even need to put emphasis on how dangerous, um, you know, Thumper is because, well, he's got a flamethrower, and how dangerous are flamethrowers? What do you tell? Oh man, did I just kill someone? I I can't I I, I couldn't tell who who it was. That's the unfortunate part. I can't tell. I think I may need like a little bit more weapons. Oh great, Grim is dead. Wow. Right now we're making a lot more progress than before. Like I said, usually when you die the first time, you usually learn how to be it the second time. So right now we're right now we're good. And that's all that matters. Uh oh. Oh. Here she comes. Thank God she didn't hit me too. I, she was close. She was close, but she didn't quite hit me. Yeah, someone might have taken the health over here. I'm not one hundred percent sure. I want to get away from Outlaw. I think, the, I think that's the last health in the game, so, in this level. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't kill Spectre yet. Hang on, he's, he's gotta go. He's gotta go. Ah, damn it. Oh, come on. Man, I tried turning my shield on. I literally like tapped the combination multiple times, but it didn't work. Oh, I saw that. He ran right into the shockwave. And I was like, yep, you're done for. Just as planned. Whoa. Grasshopper needs to go too. I gotta be careful around her because she's very sneaky. Right now. I got all these homing missiles right here, so I can pretty much spam them all. I gotta be careful. I don't want to run out of turbo because I know for a fact I'm gonna need it. And I'm gonna turn my shield on again. Ah, oh, damn it! I tried to get, I tried to get on the tur teleportations. I that way I can hide in the building, but it didn't work. It doesn't matter anyway because it just destroyed. Me doesn't matter anyway because like I said they just destroyed the second tower so now I definitely can't hide it looks like the health respawn right there too. I guess that's good because I mean because like I said health some could usually be I feel like shadow is the one who needs to die the most he definitely needs to die the most because out of everyone here, he was pretty much the most annoying. He was he was actually almost as annoying as uh, Shadow, actually. I mean, not Shadow, um, Sweet Tooth, actually. And Outlaw is still alive. It looks like she's going to be the last remaining survivor. I'm actually going to call it right now. Because I don't know what it is, but for some reason, she tends to be the last. She tends to be the last one remaining. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why, but it just... It just happens by, uh, it just happens by mere coincidence, I guess. Whichever way you would put it, for some reason she's always the last to survive. Here, I'm gonna grab, uh, these homing missiles and these power missiles right over here. Oh man, I missed! Whatever, I got, I still got this, oh! That's for, that's for literally setting me on fire. On. I gotta get that help before anyone else gets it. Woo! That was one wrist, dude. That was one hell of a wrist move, too. Hang on. Yeah, I suggest doing like a little drive by sometimes. In fact, that's actually what. In fact, that's kind of ironic, too, because that's exactly what, uh. That's exactly what, uh, you know, Outlaw does. She does a drive by, which is, again, kind of ironic for a cop. Oh, I missed! Doesn't matter, he's dead. Now, Outlaw is the last one remaining. And who called, who predicted this would happen? 
me. <laughs> um, alright, so... Outlaw's right over there. I'm waiting for my energy to refill because what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use my, uh... I'm gonna see if I can use my, uh, minion special to finish her off. Here, I'm gonna get a little closer. There we go. She's done. And we beat Holland, finally. Like I said, usually by the second time you play this level, you usually learn from your mistakes. So, you know, we're all, you know, we're good with that. Now, anyways, here we go. We are about to do Hong Kong. This is the final level. You want to make sure that you can prepare for, uh, you know, for Dark Tooth as well. Um, I got to make sure I study the password, too, in case we also die on this uh, mistake right here. Okay, triangle, triangle, X, circle, X, X, circle. Okay, that's, that's, that's kind of easy to remember. So, triangle, X, circle, X, X, circle. Got it. Now, anyway, um, so here we go. Wow, Shadow of Rain just drove by. Oh boy, this is where the enemies are at their, are at their base, basically at their full potential. And already Grim is dead. To no, not surprised. Right now, uh, we are as predicted, or as usual. Oh, oh, what the. Dude, what the hell is going on? Dude, everyone's dipping on me. <laughs> Alright, so I definitely gotta get out of there. Now, there should be some more health around here. And I ran out of turbo, too, but that's alright. There should be turbo around here somewhere. I'm not sure where, but it's somewhere. Uh, I gotta find... I gotta make sure I can find... Uh, Uh, oh boy! I don't want to. I don't want to engage in battle with her yet. Ah, turn on the shield. Oh man, that was so close. And the clown finished me off. I saw it coming. I literally tried to find the uh, nearest health, but it didn't work. Oh whatever. We got our last life remaining. So here we go. Oh, I hate it whenever I press the combination to use my shield, it doesn't work. I don't know if it's me or if it's the game. Hopefully I'm not the only one that should have this problem. And right now Outlaw is actually helping me finish Slam. Thank you very much for helping me out there. <laughs> Alright, so there should be more health. I gotta be careful from the trolley too. Oh, shit. I gotta be careful with the trolley because the trolley, if you stay in there for too long, it will kill you. I mean, it doesn't instantly kill you, but it will take a lot of your health, so be very, very careful. I'm not sure if this is the full health of the level. No, it's not. It doesn't matter anyway. As long as I got more health than before, we should be fine. But like I said, this is where the enemies are at their most aggressive. So you'll want to be very careful around, it, around this area. Or at least, uh, in fact, the entire level in general, pretty much. I got, I'm gonna see if there's more. There should be support. Uh oh. Oh. See what I mean? You gotta dodge that trolley. Luckily, it doesn't travel too fast, so you do have some. You do have some time to dodge it. So you know, as long as you like dodge it in time, you'll be fine. All right. I think Twister knows it. Oh boy. Jeez, that crashed into a wall. I can't remember where the other health is. I think the full health is actually in that, uh, is in this, I think it's in this dojo right here. So I'm gonna see if I can go in there and see what I can find. Oh boy, the, that is not what I wanted to happen. Yeah, I do believe the full health is on here. So I'm gonna see. It's like, oh, one of these platforms right here. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. I knew it. So hey, at least we got it, but I gotta make sure I stock up first. That's an important step. You also wanna make sure you stock up when you fight uh, Dark Tooth as well. So you will wanna be very careful. I don't know, the enemies are just losing their minds right now. So I'm just gonna get out of here. 
until that area calms down. So I'm gonna turn around. Okay, here we go. Oh! Ah, it's the clown. Just spam him. Do not let him live. Do not give any of them a chance to breathe. Doesn't matter how strong they are. Oh man, I had Outlaw right where I wanted her. Oh, shit. I had her right where I wanted her. I could have literally just rammed her and started spamming missiles on her, but I don't know what happened. It seemed like she unfroze early. I don't know. I don't know if it was. I don't know if that's just me or whatever. I don't know. Could be anything. But either way, I'm gonna need to make sure I get, you know, some more ammo before anything else goes down. All right, I gotta be careful. The trolley. Sometimes the trolley will come out of nowhere. That's actually the scary part about traveling in here is that. The, the trolley will sometimes just come out of nowhere, like you, like when you least expect it, and so you'll have less chance of reacting, pretty much. I'm not sure if the health respawn. Uh oh. Oh man, I would have found it hilarious if you got hit by the trolley. But I'm not sure if the health respawn in here. It looks like it did. That's all right. There is more health in the there is more health in the level, so I could I could uh, spend some time looking for that. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay? I'm just gonna head out of here. Uh oh. Yeah, Hammerhead and I have unfinished business. We have some major unfinished business to take care of. Not anymore, he's dead. Ha 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 ha. Oh crud, I can't get inside the dojo. Dude, I am so glad I turned my shield on. If I didn't turn my shield on, Thumper would have had me dead right there and I would have had to start the whole level all over again. I'm actually so glad that that's actually what happened. Um, oh, Twister's right over there. She's strangely not concerned about me. Like, I see her on top of there. But she's not really doing much. I'm trying to wait for her to come down here so I can finish her off. Uh-oh. Shadow was right there, so I was just like, hey, why not, you know, take it off. Alright, uh, what missiles do I got? I, uh, I'm kind of low on this stuff. So here, I'm going to get out of there. Keep heading around the, the wrong way. I keep, I noticed that if there's one thing that I noticed so far is that I've been running around in circles. I don't know why I have. Because like I said, there's other areas in the game where there is health, and I noticed that the reason how come I haven't found it is because I've been running around in circles. So I never really necessarily got. Uh -oh. oh God, get away from me! Oh. Jesus Christ, get away from me. Oh, flying around too much, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Thank God I got my... Thank God I got myself out of that mess. I think Shadow's heading over here. Oh, wait, is he heading over here? I don't know. Shadow, like I said, he needs to get out. Oh, damn, I tried to... Oh man, I tried to get him, but I don't know what happened. I think he might have shot. I think he might have shot a missile at me before he could actually. Uh, I think he like shot a missile at me before I could actually like freeze him or something. I don't know. And once again, I actually remembered the password. Usually, I forget, but I guess my natural instincts really do work. Am I right? Once again, we had to put the worst of the worst on here. So here we go. We're gonna keep going. We're not, we're not gonna stop. To, we're not gonna stop until we get it. <laughs> so here we go. I gotta make sure I stock up first before I fight anyone, because you don't want to walk in a battle without any ammo. So let me get. Let me just grab whatever I can find. I'm even gonna go inside the trolley for a while. 
Because when you go into the trial, you can still find some decent stuff. You know, on top of the health and everything. You know, you still got that, so. Whew, pardon me. That was very rude. Once again, that trolley just... That trolley will just not stop. <laughs> uh... I'm not sure that's everything this uh, this tunnel has. Nope. There is it. still more to offer, which is great. I like it. Wow, there was another trolley from behind. Maybe I should be glad that. I think you can destroy it. Let me see if I can destroy it. Oh, boy! It ricocheted off of me. <laughs> I didn't even know it could do that. I never actually tried that before. I just want to throw that out to a lot of people. All right, there's Slam. Uh oh. Get away from me. Uh oh. Grim! I gotta get away from him. Gotta get the hell out of here. Head up here. Let's see whatever I can find right here. I'm not gonna get the full health. I'm gonna save it. Because I don't need it unless I'm literally on the verge of dying. Especially when there's other health in the game that I can grab that, you know, usually respawns. So, I'm more focused on that first. Usually, the enemies usually come in here. Oh, man, I tried to freeze her, but too late. And now I'm missing every single shot. Uh-oh! Damn it. That was not supposed to happen. I guess it's safe to say, uh oh. Great, uh, Twister went up there. Hopefully she does not get the full heart. All right, she got off, so. All right. Uh, now we're gonna have to, right now since the enemies are in a group, it just kinda does make it a little bit easier for me to fight them. I'm gonna use my shield to take care of him. Like I said, Shadow's the one who needs to die. One of the, because he's one of the few enemies who actually needs to die along with the cloud. And now that he's gone, there's one less to worry about. Hang on, I'm trying to use this shield. He's trying to ram me, but it ain't working right now. <laughs> alright, uh Alright, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go head out and see if I can find my ammo. Uh, it looks like Twister was trying to get in there. I was hoping I could hit him with a ricochet. Don't want to grab that health right there. That's the health I was actually looking for. I'm guessing the only reason I didn't see it in the first place is because... Ooh! I don't think... I, I think I might have pissed her off. Oh, it looks like she's trying to... Oh, man, she almost grabbed the health. I'm gonna... Ah! Oh, come on. Spectre. You know, originally I was gonna give her some slack, but now I just remember... Wait, there's Spectre, so no. I'm not gonna allow that guy to breathe. Oh, I'm definitely, I'm sure as hell not going to let the, uh, the clown breathe either. Get off of me. Dude, what is going on here? I got the two worst enemies on my back. Like, I got, I got Sweet Tooth and, uh, Mr. Slam on my back. And they're the, and they're the worst. Literally. I'm trying to use my freeze to freeze her, so I'm like, here we go. Rammed her to death. Need I say more? Alright, uh, now we got. Don't we have like three enemies or four? Yeah, it looks like we still have one left. Oh, there's health in that car. Oh, boy! Whoa, they're trying to dip on me. <laughs> Bro, I, I think I might I think I might get raped. I, mean, I, gotta, I gotta get out of there. I think I'm gonna get raped. There's health all the way at the end over there, so I wanna make sure I grab that. So here we go. We're gonna. I'm gonna make sure. I uh oh. Jeez, how long came out of nowhere? Okay, that's fine. Dude, how many cones did he fire? Bro, he fired a lot. Bro, he fired a lot of cones. Cause I heard all those. I heard all the uh, the cones that he was firing. And I was like, dude, how many is he firing? And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then when they hit me, I'm like, oh jeez. And I'm surprised my shield didn't last very long to actually, you know, protect me during that time. Oh jeez, I'm trying to get used to teleport. God. 
Oh, shit. Oh, let me out. Oh, man, I think that was unblockable. I definitely need to get the hell out of here. I was originally trying to get the full health. I was trying to find the full health, but then the teleporter wouldn't work, and I'm like, okay, what the hell's going on? But it wouldn't work. Apparently, apparently, I guess I'm wrong. I'll get grim in a second. I need to stock up again. This is a shame, because I'm actually dying more times than I thought. I never would have thought that this would actually happen. But this is just me being very rusty at the game, so I apologize for my rustiness. This is all me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone is gonna, inevitably, someone's gonna go down into the comments and say, oh, Larry, you suck at the game, blah, blah, blah. I don't really mind it if people say I do, because, I mean, even I know I'm not the best at this game, so I mean, I'm self aware of it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, okay, they're below me. Whoa! All right, Slam it needs to die. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I never. Oh God! Why did he get hit by that trolley? You know, if he if he got hit, I would have I would have been satisfied. There, now he's dead. Killed him with two napalms. And there goes Grim. Grim needs to go too. Especially him use, abusing his freeze. Along with that skull. Oh! Oh, he got. Oh, I saw the cloud. He got hit by the trolley. Wait, did I get grip? Yeah, it looks like I did. Now there's one less to worry about. Die, cloud. What the F? Seriously, Outlaw is the last remaining enemy. What? Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is, but it seems like she's always the last one, th the last enemy standing. I don't know why, but it happens. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyone who's ever played uh, Twisted Metal 2 before has probably had this happen to them at least once or twice. I'm not sure. No, actually, not just once or twice, probably many times, actually. Screw that. So we could already establish that you can't destroy the trolley. So that means I'm gonna have to go my own way. Now let me see what we can do. Oh! Jeez, well wait, she scared the piss out of me. Alright, I gotta get away from her because right now she's just she's getting a little aggressive. But I need more ammo though, because like I'm gonna need to stock up for uh Dark Tooth. Because I'm going to tell you right now, he's not going to be easy. If you think for one second that he is one of the easiest bosses in video game history, you thought wrong. I mean, he's not one of the hardest in history either, but he's still not the easiest. Especially if you haven't, if you never played this game before, or if you haven't played the game in a while like I have. So, you know, like I said, I was actually originally attempting to beat this game without dying, but... That was a little bit of, of a challenge for me because even I know I was gonna die inevitably because you know my skills kind of went down went down the drain after a while of playing this game. So I knew I knew from the start that this wasn't gonna be you know my best run. So if this isn't my best run, I heavily apologize. But I do hope at least you guys are at least enjoying you know watching a, you know a classic from the past. Cause that's all that matters. As long as you enjoy, me, you know, watching me playing a, a classic from the past, that's all that. That's all that matters. Now we finally hit the main event, folks. We are about to go against Dark Tooth. This is where the magic is going to happen, and by magic, I mean this is where Armageddon is going to be unleashed. Uh oh! Wait! 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 Is he Okay, here we go. Wait a second. I got some remote bombs. Wait, I gotta get some remote bombs here. Dude, he is right in front of me. There he is. Ah! Alright, I gotta get out of here. Alright, so here we go. Go around here. 
Ah! All right, at least I got that open. Woo! In fact, did you actually know that you could actually? Oh! Oh, do I have to? Do I also have to bring up the fact that he's eerily fast for a big vehicle of his size? Yeah, he is really, he is really, he is really fast for a vehicle of his size. Like, you'll be surprised. All right, thank God. I want to have to make sure I spin. Ah! I hate it whenever I get hit by missiles. I just bounce. Like, it's like a callback to one of the classic NES games, you know what I mean? Like, don't you remember, like, in the old school NES games where you, like, you know, every single time you got hit by an enemy or something, you would, like, you know, basically you would get knocked back or whatever? Like, it's so annoying, right? But, you know, it's very common in this game. Oh man, and I missed the turbo, and I, and out of all the items I have, I really needed that the most. That way, if I ever need to escape from Dark Tooth, I can just use the turbo to get out of there. So hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unleash my minion attack on him. Wait a minute, it looks like he's. Wait a minute, uh oh. Yeah, like I said, he's really fast for a vehicle. He's really fast for a vehicle this size. I'm gonna go right past him. Alright, let me see if I can go. Oh! Thank God he missed. I think he took the turbo. Did he? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm definitely gonna need help now. Ah! Oh, gosh. So the full health is in here, like usual. So here we go. Hopefully, I don't know if Dark Tooth can get in here. Oh, yeah, he can. He definitely can. Oh, damn, the door's... The door was... The door was closed, so I couldn't get out. I didn't even think Dark Tooth could get in there, considering how small the hole is. I guess no matter what the circumstance is, he will get in either way. And like I said, I needed Turbo, because... I needed to escape from him, and on top of all that, I needed to get that full health. But because I ran out of Turbo, and I missed that other Turbo icon that I was trying to get, that's why I died in the first place. Uh oh, here he comes. Alright, what the heck? Ah, get out of there! Alright, this time I gotta save my turbo this time because, like I said, if I'm gonna get the full health, I'm gonna need to make sure I save it. Which one is it? There it is. Alright, so I got it. Um, I'm just waiting for my energy to refill because usually that is that is one of the easiest ways that you can beat Dark Tooth. But you got it. But I highly suggest like you know using all your uh, as much ammunition as you as you have in order to fight Dark Tooth. But in some ways, one of the cheapest ways to beat him is that you can refill your energy and then you can use the minion attack to beat him. It's actually one of the few recommended ways on beating him. But uh, one of the more uh, difficult ways of beating him is by beating him the old-fashioned way, pretty much. All right, it looks like he's heading over the other way around. Does that trolley. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to be in a trap area. Hang on, do I have any power? Yes, I do. Hang on, here we go. Unleash his power missiles. Do not allow this guy to breathe. At all. So it's like, when you usually have it right there, you got as much power missiles and all that stuff, just unleash it on Dark Tooth. Do not allow him to breathe. Now, right now, you might be thinking, are we done? Just one more fight. And this one's actually very easy to say the least. Because you gotta fight the head. Literally, all you gotta do is just use your minion attack and just, you know, use your missiles and all that stuff. He's really a joke, to tell you the truth. Ah. What's up with this one? I'm trying to see if I can get him right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the health over there before, you know finishes me off but pretty much like I said you can just use your regular weapons because like I said his armor is very weak so 
you don't necessarily have to worry about him, like, you know, being super duper hard or anything. Oh man, it throws me. Oh no, get out of there! Oh man. Thankfully, he's not too quick. At least I hope he is. Alright, so there's health right over there. And now we're gonna grab this. I think I have my last missile on me. And he's done. And that was a very close call because if we died, I would have had to start all over again. So thankfully, we managed to survive. Alright, you are the winner. Now we can see Axel's ending. So here we go. Let's see what Axel has, well, gotten from Calypso. Axel stood before me and asked me for the one prize he wanted more than anything. The strength to face his father who had bound him in this hellish contraption over 30 years ago. So basically, if Cali yeah, if anybody wants revenge on Why someone, Calypso back? will help them. I've already gotten rid of you. Father, please. Release me. You were always too slow, too damn stupid, and you still are. Gonna take ten more years on the wheels to set you right. You need to be taught a lesson. No, father, I've learned my lesson. Let me show you what I've learned. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I am a free man. And you are no longer my father. Axel disappeared into the Kansas fields. Wow. To this day, he has yet to be seen. Oh, I am Calypso. And I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. That is insane. Like, Axel actually had his... He ripped off his own arms. That's... That's... Wow. And that's actually one of the few times where Calypso didn't screw him out of a wish. That's rare because usually Calypso would just screw you out of a wish unless you're trying to get if you're trying to get revenge on someone Calypso is going to help you because for some reason he just likes people's misery. Well anyway, um, that about does it for this run of Twisted Metal 2. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this playthrough because like I said this is actually what I plan on doing for Shizzle Network because I figured the best way to do these retro let's play series is that I could uh, you know, do these playthroughs and all that stuff because I noticed that they tend to do get some attention here. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, if you guys did enjoy this uh, playthrough, be sure. Uh, pardon me, I'm sorry. That was very rude. If you guys did enjoy this playthrough, be sure to subscribe for more videos from the Shizzle Network. Until then, peace out. This will be on the infinite. And by the way, if you guys want to see me uh, do a playthrough of the original uh, Twisted Metal, the very first one, please let me know in the comments below. And as I said, please don't just be on the infinite. And as always, think for yourself.